This morning, the gloves are coming off in the mass debate. The governors of Arizona, Nebraska, Texas, and Iowa, all states with high COVID transmission, are refusing to comply with the CDC's new mask guidance for vaccinated people. It's frustrating. It's confusing. They're sending mixed messages constantly. The White House pushing back, requiring masks inside all federal buildings in high-risk areas. The president again urging all Americans to get inoculated. Please, 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 if you're not vaccinated, protect yourself and the children out there. On Capitol Hill, the chief doctor announced a mask mandate for the House due to rising cases in D.C. Republican minority leader Kevin McCarthy argues it's not based on science. We are vaccinated. We're not a hot spot but they're forcing you to wear a mask, not in the Senate, but in the House. This is just about more control. Disney World now mandating masks in all indoor attractions, regardless of vaccination status. The Surgeon General is recommending vaccinated parents wear masks with their kids when outside the home and for all students to wear them in school. I recognize that the mask is an inconvenience that we'd all rather just get rid of. This extra layer of protection with the mask is just going to help us reduce the spread of Delta. On Wednesday, another COVID outbreak in Major League Baseball. The Washington Nationals postponing a game with the Phillies after a dozen of its players and staff tested positive, even though most were fully vaccinated. This as Netflix becomes the first major Hollywood studio to require vaccinations for all casts and crew. Google now mandating them for employees returning to the office. Preliminary new data from Pfizer shows its vaccine had a modest decline in preventing symptomatic infection after six months. Pfizer CEO says this highlights the need for booster shots. The booster will uh, take up the immune response to levels that will be enough to protect against the Delta variant. While health experts say that so-called breakthrough cases result in very mild symptoms, there's new data suggesting they may be becoming more common. In the first two weeks of July in Los Angeles County alone, about 26 percent of new infections were from fully vaccinated people. And now the CDC is studying the prevalence of breakthrough cases nationwide, Craig. A lot of places it's starting to seem like we're moving backwards. Gabe Gutierrez, the Air Force in New York. Gabe, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.